Justin, what did you take from last Saturday? Um, I think we just, as an offensive standpoint, especially the line, we just have to execute better. Um, it was a physical game with us in their D-line, so the glaring things where we just have to execute better and uh, just keep working on playing a more uh, or just a better game all around. How do you feel like you guys handle the, uh, the defense a lot? Obviously, West Virginia is a big 12 school with uh, you know a lot of history and a pretty solid team. Uh, you know, do you feel like you guys held your own and did what you needed to do against them up front? Yeah, um, for the most part, I do. Uh, like I said, it was a very physical game, and we got some big guys up front. So I felt like we handled it pretty well. Um, there were a couple plays, obviously. They got us, but you expect that with them being a Big 12 defense. And But uh, yeah, I think we did pretty well against them. Last week, you guys were kind of on the other end of where you are this week, where this is Robert Morris' Super Bowl. So how do you keep things composed and not overlook them? Um, I think it's just important to have a really good week of practice. Uh, just keep everybody aware that last year they took us to overtime. Um, we didn't come in with a good mental mindset that it's a, another game. It's another step towards our goal. So we just have to have a good week of practice, have good mental preparation for a team that came in last year and took us to overtime and almost beat us. So we just have to be ready to play our best game. Coach mentioned Brock might be back this week. Uh, how much of an impact does he have when he's out there with you guys? Oh, it's a big impact. He's fifth year guy, obviously. Um, he's a big leader on the O line. So when he's in there and uh, things aren't going good, it's another guy to go like just relax and get it going again. So uh, he's a big impact for us. What do you remember about that game? We played bad. Um, as an O, I wouldn't execute. Uh, I personally did not play very well, I remember. So we're looking forward to the opportunity again to go out, try to play a much better game. I know it was pretty heavy downpour in that game. You're playing. Does that change anything for you as an offensive lineman when the conditions are bad like that? Not really. I mean, if anything, it helps us because usually rain means you're going to run the ball, and we like to run blocks. So. Uh, I mean, as far as changing the game, no. It's just. Justin, it's been said that you make your biggest improvements between weeks one and two. What did you guys improve on in week two despite the loss? Um, as far as execution goes, from week one to week two, we improved, but there's still room for more improvement. Um, I mean, as a team, I think we played a more sound game and. Um, I mean, we just got to keep improving, make an even bigger jump through week three. Trent's been getting uh, time at second string, and he plays a similar style to Ricky. Does it does it help you guys when Trent has to come in you know, in the second half situation where he plays a similar style? Uh, yeah. All the quarterbacks, whether it's Ricky, Trent, or Hunter and Mays, uh, I mean, they all bring their own thing to the game, so. Having a running quarterback, you have to be more aware of. You might have to hold your block longer in a pass situation because they can get out of there fast and scramble, and you got to chase the ball and make sure they don't get too many hard hits on them. But um, I mean, no matter who's back there, we're just going to play as hard as we can for till the whistle blows. With Brock out, it seems like Cameron's really come in and filled in nicely. How nice is it to have a guy like that who's experienced who can come in and fill in? Uh, it's really nice. He's our first in in pretty much every position. So, um, I mean, he knows every position like the back of his hand. He can come in, be physical, be he's smart with the plays. He's he knows what he's doing. So, it's nice to have a guy like that. How much continuity do you have to have up front? I don't think you've given up a sack in two games. Um, you know that that played a role in you guys not giving up sack. Is it, you know just your, your communication? Yeah, communication obviously is a big thing. Uh, just hearing where the calls to and understanding where you got to go and who you're picking up. Um, for instance, in West Virginia, they brought blitzes all the time and the looks. So the center does a great job of IDing it for us, and uh, tackles and guards just communicate well and find out where we're going and just block it to the best of our ability. 
Does that usually happen before the play or as the play is happening? You know, does it? Um, <clears throat> we run up to the line and uh, he'll make a call, and then just instantaneous, he makes a call, and we communicate it, and we go. So it's before the play. Yeah. Is that more difficult in an environment like you were in Saturday when it's loud like that? It wasn't too much difficult. It was just you had to be much more clear with for, so me and Gavin, we had to be a lot. We just had to yell the calls and make sure we pointed well and got where we were going, but it wasn't too difficult. From a rubber board standpoint, what do you see from them defensively? Um, I mean, like I said, they're a team last year that took us to overtime, so uh, they're a sound defense, and we're expecting their best shot, so we're not going to hold anything back. and. Just going to go out there and play him and see what happens. Great one, Thank you, sir. Awesome. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Jesse.